Hi, this is Mad Engadget at uh, Gamescon 2012. Uh, today we're taking a look at Rocket's Power Grid. We've now got a working version, no less on Android, which is news to us. So we decided to take it for a spin on this uh, Galaxy S3. Uh, you might be able to tell that uh, the menu's been adjusted to suit the uh, Android design. At the top here, you can see the uh, icons for all the different interfaces. At the start here, we've got the incoming center. So this uh, ties in together your Facebook, your RSS, and other social media, even Skype's included in that. If we tap across to Office, you'll see a more familiar looking set of widgets. As you can see here, we've got Evernote, Skype. These are all customizable on the uh, PC launcher, which is also being developed for uh, Linux and Mac. Uh, we've moved across again. Now the cone one is meant to tie into uh, Rockat's own new mouse. So here's one of the versions of the cone here. As you can see, we've got a lovely little uh, light up logo there. Now if we change color, you should see it changing exactly to what we do. Again, you can speed that up. You can even just turn it off. And we'll turn it back on again because it looks nice. Next up we've got sound control. Now you can uh, embed the music player into anything you use. Ooh, hopefully you should be able to play. And there's my third hand. Enough of that. You can also mute from here. And there's a few uh, more volume uh, switches for different programs. We move, scroll along a little bit more. Now gaming-wise, uh, you get a system stats menu which will offer up uh, all this streaming data over Wi-Fi from the PC behind, as you can see there. Um, if we could tap on the uh, Counter-Strike, you'll see all these different shortcut widgets that you can program yourself. These are actually made by pro gamers for Rocket. Um, you can even record um, exactly how well you're um, pawning everyone else. And again, if you want it, you can add CPU and RAM uh, metrics if you need them. There we go. Now this is still an early beta for Android. Um, Rocket are developing their iOS app first, which should be coming soon. And then that will be followed by an Android version. Anyway, this has been Matt at Engadget. Thanks for watching.